Time is running short and you've done little to no revision. Don't worry, you can still achieve top grades for your GCSE exams. Want to know how? Keep watching. Hope everyone's doing well. My name is Kieran. In this video, I'll give you a step-by-step -step solution to smashing your maths exams in just a short amount of time. All right, let's get straight to it. If you think in this video, I'm going to talk about the amount of notes you should prepare and the amount of flashcards you have to make, then you couldn't be further from the truth. No notes and no flashcards. Maths is the most problem solving GCSE subject, which means to achieve top grades, you're gonna wanna practice as many past papers as possible in exam conditions. So no phones, no music, no notes. Have a timer on your screen so then you know when to finish your paper. If it's a non-calculator paper, no calculator. All of this will help with your exam stress and anxiety. So you're feeling more prepared in exam situations and you know how long you should spend on each question effectively. Once you finish your exam paper and you're marking it, don't write down your solutions. Instead, grab a separate piece of paper and note down the questions that you got wrong and also the topics. This sheet of paper will come handy later on, trust me. Right, so you finished all of that, you've got a completed past paper, and you've got a separate piece of paper letting you know what questions you got wrong and the topics. Great. Now what you're gonna wanna do is search on YouTube the exact paper you sat. So let's say for example, if I sat in Edexcel paper one 2016, I will type in on YouTube, Edexcel GCSE maths higher paper one 2016. And it will give me videos of teachers going through the exact paper I sat question by question. Click on this video and only watch the questions that you got wrong. Don't waste time watching the questions that you already know how to complete and you already got right. Just watch the ones you got wrong. Don't even take down notes. Don't even write out the solution. Just watch. Pay attention and just watch how the teacher goes through the question. Once the teacher has finished the problem, skip to a new tab and try that question out yourself. This way you're training yourself to actually answer the question rather than marking it. It's like you're learning it and then you're actively using your brain to answer the question. In this way, you have gone through every single question in that past paper and you have answered every question correctly. Even if you've used a walkthrough video to guide you and help you answer the question, you've answered that question correctly. And now you know how to answer every question on that past paper. Also, you know psychologically what it takes to not only achieve a grade nine, but to get 100% on a paper which is sick. Now, before we move on to the next step, I would suggest doing everything that I've mentioned at least three times. This way you'll have three completed exam papers and also three sheets letting you know what questions you got wrong and what topics they were. Now moving on to the next stage, which is all about reviewing what you've just learned. When you finish your paper and you mark down all the questions you got wrong, even if you know how to do those questions, you wanna make sure you are very, very good on that topic. For this, I recommend using the GCSE Maths Tutor. This guy has insane videos on YouTube. So many videos and so many playlists, but of course, time is running short. Instead, I only want you to focus on one playlist, the five hardest GCSE series. This playlist goes through the hardest questions for each topic. Now remember the three pieces of papers that I mentioned earlier, the ones that had the questions that you got wrong, as well as the topic? I want you to highlight one topic from each paper. Go on the playlist I mentioned and watch videos to do with that topic. So let's say for instance, I highlighted vectors, circle theorem and trigonometry. I will watch on that playlist videos to do with vectors, circle theorem, and trigonometry. If you can't find the videos on this playlist, then try going to grade nine maths revision series or aiming for grade seven to nine math series. All of these playlists will be linked in the description of the video. To be honest with you, maths questions are all about extracting the right numbers and using the right processes. What I mean by a process is if you have a question like this, you need to factorize and obtain the correct solutions. And all of this would be one process. The questions mentioned in the playlist contain more than one process, making them the hardest questions you'll encounter in GCSE. So by going through these videos, you're familiarizing yourself with as many processes in that topic as possible. GCSE maths test you on the same process every single year. So if you familiarize yourself and get used to as many processes as possible, you're almost guaranteed to get a grade nine. Chances are you're watching this video the night before your exam and you've done no past papers at all. No practice, no past papers. If that is you, then remove every distraction and focus. You haven't got enough time to go through every GCSE past paper possible. However, the GCSE Maths Tutor has made a playlist called Last Minute Revision Videos. I suggest clicking on this playlist and going through as many videos as you possibly can. But try not to stress and try not to cram too much in. You want to make sure you've got a clear mind when going to the exam. If you 
cram too much information in, then you're gonna panic. If however, you complete past papers and follow the tips that I mentioned in this video, remember that piece of paper that I was talking about, the one that had the questions and also the topics that you got wrong? Go back to the past paper and go through those questions. Go through the questions that you got wrong and make sure you know how to answer that question properly. And just make sure you've learned from your mistakes. Earlier I was talking about processes and making sure you're good with them. If you've gone through every single past paper and answered every single question correctly, which you can do in a month, then you've gone through every single possible process used in maths. So you're good and familiar with every single process. And because of that, you will get a grade nine, like guaranteed. Knowing every process and when to use it is the key to getting a grade nine in GCSE maps. As well as this, make sure you rest up well. The main reason people make silly mistakes in exams is either because they're too stressed, they fall into a panic, or they haven't rested up well. So make sure you rest up well. Get eight hours of sleep if you can. Not only does this prevent silly mistakes from occurring, but this helps you access as much as possible from your long-term memory. Stay hydrated as well and don't stress. Remember that once you complete these papers that's it that's it for GCSEs once you've completed paper one you don't have to worry about paper one anymore once you complete paper two and paper three you don't have to worry about maths anymore so don't stress make sure you optimize your ability to focus during these exams stay alert and stay hydrated. All right, that concludes the video. I plan on creating more videos like this for other GCSE subjects and also A-level. So if you wanna keep yourself tuned into more content like this, please subscribe to my channel and stay notified on the new videos coming out. Also like this video and comment down below what you thought. If you have any questions for GCSE maths or any questions at all, please comment down below or you can DM me on Instagram. I wish you all the best with revision and your GCSE maths exams. You guys are gonna smash it. And because you clicked on this video, it tells me that you want to do well with your exams. If you work smart, effectively, and are patient, you will achieve good grades. God bless you all. All the best with your exams and peace.